WRTV 6 Indianapolis, making a difference for Indiana. This is WRTV 6 News at 11 with Clyde Lee, Dion Willis, Ed Sorensen on sports, and meteorologist Bob McLean with weather. Now, live WRTV 6 News at 11. <laughs> The third crash in two days at the Speedway, this time a rookie at the Indy track, Nelson Piquet. And this time not as fortunate as the two drivers yesterday. Look at this. Piquet suffering serious injuries to his lower legs and feet. Not surprising. Good evening, everyone. Yesterday it was Rick Mears. He was hard into the wall. And then Kenji Mamota. Neither of them seriously hurt. But as you just saw a moment ago, Nelson Piquet hit the wall head on, and he has been in surgery since then. We want to go straight to Methodist Hospital and to sports reporter Ken Thomas, who is covering the store for, story for us. Ken? Clyde and Dion, Nelson Piquet is still in surgery this hour. Dr. Terry Trammell has been working on him since about 5 o'clock. The three-time Formula One world driving champion had been one of the quickest men around the two-and-a-half-mile oval of the Speedway. His month of May ended just as quickly. The crash happened just about... 2.30 this afternoon, P.K. had just turned in a lap of over 212 miles an hour in his 92 Lola Buick, but he lost control here in turn four and slammed hard into the wall. The nose of the car was sheared off. P.K. suffered compound fractures in both legs as well as a concussion, and it took the rescue crews nearly 10 minutes to get P.K. out of the wreckage. Now, there was some speculation that P.K. may have picked up a, a piece of debris from the track that may have cut one of his left tires, and that may have contributed to the crash, but USAC's Mike Devon said tonight that was just a small piece of aluminum from another car that does not seem to have had any bearing on the accident. Now they say it may have been caused by something broken in the suspension of the car or a deflating tire. Now, PK is not expected to be out of surgery until after midnight. He's not expected to wake up from the anesthesia until 8 or 9 tomorrow morning, and that's when we'll get our first condition report on Nelson PK. That's the story from here. Clyde.